of these men of this generation don't ride for us that they're supposed to when they white? I rode. When I you're rode. a wife, why they can't ride for you? I rode. So is that why you don't want to pay child support? Oh, my God. Oh, you can, that's you can, making me sick. You can go. Together. You can go. Huh? That's making me What's sick. What's the problem? Child Introduction in the wild world of hip-hop and reality TV. Drama isn't just part of the package, it's the main event. But when it comes to family, some boundaries are set in stone. For Lil Scrappy, his mother, Mama D, is his rock, his guide in the heart of his family. So when Erica Mina took aim with some biting comments about Mama D, Scrappy didn't just feel the burn, he went into full protection mode. Erica's words touched a nerve, bringing up years of family loyalty, unresolved tensions, and an intense sense of honor that Scrappy would never let slide. The early morning sun hung low over Atlanta, casting a warm, golden glow across the bustling streets. It seemed like just another ordinary day. But for Lil Scrappy, something felt off. His phone kept buzzing, notifications lighting up his screen in a steady rhythm. Scrappy, always tuned into the latest on social media, glanced down at his phone. At first, it looked like just another rumor, a typical story swirling around the gossip blogs. But as his eyes moved over the text, a sinking feeling set in. It was an interview with his ex, Erica Mina. The headline blared, Erica Mina takes aim at Lil Scrappy's mother in latest interview. A knot formed in his chest. Scrappy usually stayed out of the drama, but when it came to his family, especially his mother, he had his limits. Mama D had always been a complicated figure in the public eye, but she was the one who'd raised him, who'd been his strength through the hardest times. Despite her larger-than-life personality and wild moments, he couldn't tolerate anyone disrespecting her, not even his ex. As he leaned back in his chair, a storm began to brew inside him. The interview had aired only hours earlier. There was Erica, comfortably seated in a studio chair, apparently unbothered by the words she was about to let loose. When asked about Mama D, she scoffed, calling her crazy and embarrassing. Erica made sneering remarks about Mama D's behavior, implying it reflected poorly on how Scrappy was raised. But what stung even more was when she went further, labeling his mother as toxic and blaming her for the family's dysfunction. To Erica, Mama D wasn't just a loud, eccentric figure. She was a problem, the reason for the chaos that Scrappy had worked hard to leave behind. Scrappy's grip tightened on his phone, his hand squeezing until he almost felt it might crack. These words cut deeper than any diss track could. How could she? How could she speak so recklessly about a woman who'd sacrificed everything for him and their family? Scrappy had always been the one to strive for peace, the one trying to keep things civil with Erica, wanting their daughter, Imani, to grow up in a stable, loving family. You bet everybody in your business right Because Bam did it. Bam told all her friends something, and they went and spread it, and they talked it. Huh? You feel me? Bam talks? What about your mother? How oh my gosh! No, you talking about my mama? I'll tell you something about your yourself mother, real quick. Your I know mother about you. Don't play. Hey, girl, hold on, so hold on. That's just what it is. Hey, what about your son, that's girl? What about your son? What, what about, about your son? son? What your about my son? son? Despite the differences between them, Erica had now crossed the line, and there was no turning back. Scrappy stood up abruptly, pacing through the living room, his mind racing. His fiance, Bambi, had just left to run some errands, leaving him alone with his thoughts. He could feel rage bubbling up inside, the kind of fury that only surfaces when someone attacks your family, your foundation. His mother had stood by him through everything through the struggles of growing up in the streets of Atlanta, the pains of his early relationships, and every success and setback in his career. No one, especially Erica, was gonna tear down the woman who had raised him. He sank into the couch, staring at his phone screen, the sting of Erica's words from the interview still fresh in his mind. His chest tightened as he replayed the insults over and over. His fingers twitched, itching to respond. He knew he had to act, to stand up for his mother. Scrappy wasn't one to let things slide easily. He had a temper, and when it flared, it wasn't just words. It was a rush of emotions, an outpouring of everything he'd kept bottled up for too long. The choice was clear. Scrappy grabbed his phone and started typing furiously. He didn't hold anything back. His words were raw, filled with anger and frustration. His response to Erica was more than just a comeback, it was a statement. He posted it, letting the world know exactly how he felt. I'm done letting people disrespect my mama. You crossed the line, Erica. My mother raised me right. She's been there for me in ways you'll never understand. You wanna talk crazy about her? 
Not today. You don't get to tear down the woman who gave me life. Keep my family's name out your mouth. If you've got something to say, come see me. He hit sin, his heart pounding as he did. For Scrappy, it wasn't just about defending Mama D. It was about protecting what mattered most his family, his honor, his legacy. In that moment, Scrappy realized there was no going back. Social media erupted as fans and critics alike responded to the fiery exchange. Some supported Scrappy, commending his fierce loyalty to his mother. Other, however, sided with Erica, saying Scrappy was too quick to anger. But none of that mattered to him. He wasn't doing it for the attention or the reactions. He was doing it because Erica had crossed a line that couldn't be uncrossed in his world. That night, as Scrappy sat alone, he couldn't shake the sting of betrayal. He wasn't upset with Erica for what she said. His anger stemmed from the way she had disrespected his mother, a woman who had done nothing but fight for her family. In that moment of fury, something shifted within him. He understood that this wasn't just about one person's words, it was about standing firm in who he was. It was about his unwavering love for those who mattered most. As things began to settle, Scrappy faced a hard truth. Sometimes, you have to let people go. His relationship with Erica had already weathered too much damage to mend. But his loyalty to his family, his mother, his fiancée, and his daughter was something he'd never regret or apologize for. In the end, it wasn't really about the argument. It was about standing his ground in the face of disrespect, refusing to let anyone tear down the people he loved. It was just another whirlwind day in Atlanta, a city where drama never rested, and surprises were always lurking around the corner. But for Bambi and Lil Scrappy, this day carried a different kind of excitement, one that would forever change their lives. For months, Bambi had been going through the motions of life, balancing the highs and lows of motherhood and marriage with Scrappy. Their relationship had certainly seen its challenges, from the hurdles of a blended family to the trials of living under the public eye. It often felt as if their love was constantly under examination. Yet despite it all, they had managed to build a solid foundation. They were more than partners, they were parents, best friends, and through every storm, had always found their way back to each other. But Bambi had been holding on to something that was about to shake up their world, something Scrappy couldn't have anticipated. As much as they had faced the ups and downs together, this new chapter was one she hadn't shared with him yet. It was something deeply personal, something she was still working to understand herself, and today she was ready to open up. Bambi sat on the couch in their cozy living room, the warm afternoon sun casting a soft glow through the windows. Scrappy entered, his usual confident swagger slightly softened by the fatigue of a long day. He smiled at his wife, his eyes lighting up as they exchanged a brief but affectionate glance. Their bond had always been unique, an unspoken understanding that no matter the struggles, they were in it together. But today, Bambi seemed different. There was a quiet tension in her demeanor, a gentleness to her presence that Scrappy hadn't felt before. He sensed that she was about to tell him something significant. But even after all their years together, nothing could have truly prepared him for what she was about to share. Taking a deep breath, Bambi finally broke the silence. She reached for his hand, her fingers trembling slightly as she held onto him, grounding herself in the moment. Scrappy watched her closely, curiosity filling his eyes. Yet he had no idea of the impact her words would soon have. I need to tell you something, Bambi began, her voice calm but laced with an emotion he couldn't yet place. Please, just listen before you say anything. Scrappy nodded, his brows furrowing as he tried to read the expression on her face. He could tell she was serious. Her words carried a mixture of excitement and vulnerability. He squeezed her hand gently, encouraging her to go on. I'm pregnant, Bambi finally said, her words hanging in the air like a bombshell. She didn't look for his immediate reaction, instead watching as his expression shifted from confusion to disbelief and then to something deeper. 
joy, shock, love, and maybe a hint of uncertainty all rolled into one. For a moment, Scrappy stood frozen, his mind racing to process the words she had just said. Pregnant again? He hadn't expected this news, especially with everything they already had on their plates, from their young son to the challenges of balancing hectic careers and personal lives. The shock quickly gave way, replaced by a rush of emotions that overtook him. Are you serious? Scrappy asked, his voice thick with surprise, a smile creeping onto his face despite himself. He leaned in closer to her, searching her face for confirmation. Bambi nodded, her eyes shining with a mix of excitement and nervous anticipation. Yeah, I just found out. I've been feeling a little different lately, so I went to the doctor. It's true. She paused, watching his reaction closely. I wasn't sure how to tell you, but I couldn't keep it from you any longer. The moment hung heavily in the air between them. Scrappy blinked a few times, trying to process this life-altering news. This wasn't just a revelation, it was a moment that would forever change their future yet again. Scrappy cupped her face gently in his hands, his expression softening as the significance of the moment fully set in. You're gonna be a mother again, he whispered, a smile spreading slowly across his face, and I'm going to be a daddy again. Conclusion looking ahead in the world of hip hop, family loyalty often comes with its own set of challenges. For Lil Scrappy, that loyalty is both a source of strength and a trigger for intense emotions. Erica's words may have stirred the pot, but they also served as a reminder that some things are sacred family being the top of that list. As Scrappy moves forward, his loyalty to his mom remains unshaken, a testament to the values he holds dear. And while he may continue to face challenges, one thing is certain. Anyone who tries to come between him and his family is in for a fight they won't soon forget. Outro, thanks for watching. What do you think about Scrappy's reaction? Do you agree with his loyalty or do you think Erica had a point? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates on all your favorite hip hop stars and reality TV drama.